Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryu from Selfless Gaming. This is going to be a video that is a little bit behind the play, behind the scenes of the 5 Zeus Eco Round that made its way to the top of the CSGO subreddit. I actually went to bed last night, woke up, and saw it was that we were again on the subreddit, which is, which is usually a good thing, and that that particular round was at the top of the subreddit with something like 1,500 upvotes, something crazy like that. And uh, so I figured I'd give a little bit of the behind the play because it wasn't just us trolling or being disrespectful to a team that we on paper should be. There was actually a little bit more thought that went into it. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to start with the round prior because it sets the stage for the, the five Zeus eco round. Um, and I'm going to make a couple points along the way. And then I'll have an ask of you guys, uh, which hopefully you don't mind towards the very end of the video. So with all that said, let me just jump right into it. Uh, we lost the, the pistol round of the second half. And uh, all of our players forced up on the second round. We said, okay, we're going to force up. Let's try to close this early. Got armor, pistols, that kind of thing. And then right out of the gate, I'm going to point out the fact that there's really not a ton of utility on the other side. They all went for rifles, so not a lot of Molotovs or HEs. There's really only there's two flashbangs and two smokes. That's it. Um, and it's important to note because I'll, I'll, I'll indicate why that's important later. And so... On our side, Mainline pushes down to the car. He's going to get pretty aggressive, runs down Banana. He's got a teammate with him in Uber, uh, but Adil's going to peek out with the Galil, take him down. And they're just kind of holding. So if I look at the overlay, you'll notice they're pretty much all. There's one Mexi, there's two towards these stairs, one holding for a window peek in alt mid, and then you've got one player super deep alt mid in, uh, in White Rabbit. And so White Rabbit's just going to sit here, and you'll, if you look through the x-ray, you'll see that Relics is actually walk pushing the halls. He'll eventually get killed by White Rabbit, and I'm going to explain a little bit of what immediately went off in my head when I saw that happen. So here's the frag. This basically told me that they're just waiting for us to push, and it makes perfect sense. When you're a team on paper that's expected to lose or to get beat pretty badly, it's, it's really common the other team, especially in, a, in this example, right, a pro-level team versus an ESEA intermediate team, it's really common for the pro team to just go super, super aggressive, hyper aggressive Counter Strike. They're going to bring the fight to you, run into the open. They're going to outskill you, and they're not going to give you a chance to set up. And they're just going to be all up in your face. And booty clappers, booty clappers, realize that. So they're sitting back. They're really, really, really passive. But the other thing I noticed is that they didn't really use any flashbangs, and they're really slow. So we're already down basically a minute off the clock. They don't have control of anything. They haven't taken bracket control. Um, they haven't taken banana at all. And there's already down to a minute on the clock. They haven't been pop flashing. It doesn't seem like they've, they've had somebody up close, gun out, somebody maybe a little bit of a, of a further distance pop flashing for a group of people to explode or get control of anything. So it didn't seem like they were using their utility super well. It didn't seem like they were going to rush a site or, or kind of run into us really, really fast in the round. And they end up getting into the site with, I think, about 40 seconds left. But all those things were indicators to me that, guys, listen, you're going to think I'm crazy, but can we guys, can you guys just trust me on this? Everybody buy a Zeus and just play close angles. I want the two B guys close to Banana, and I want the guys at A, at least two of you in a bait set up at the halls. And they did it. My team trusted the call, and they, they did what was asked of them. And that's one of the other points that I wanted to make. It's really important that your teammates trust the calls being made and that they do them. We have a ton of sayings on our team, but one of them is, is very simply that just trust the call and do your job. And if you do those things, we're gonna, it's going to work out most of the time. And if it doesn't, it's not on you. It's on me as the coach. It's on Mainline as the in-game leader. But take that pressure off yourself. Just do what we're asking you to do, and we'll be okay. And so that's what the guys did this round. You'll notice all five players have Zeus's. Nobody upgraded pistols. There's no nades. They trusted what was being asked of them, and they trusted the call, and they did their jobs. You'll notice this time, however, there's, there's definitely a lot more utility up on the board. Uh, White Rabbit is about to push in the halls. You'll see him on the x-ray there on the left. Uh, he uses one HE, and then that's the only utility he uses. And so he's going to throw a grenade. It's going to land in the halls. Doesn't really do any damage to anybody. Then he's going to push him by himself solo, and Mainline's going to get this kill. And this will be the first Zeus kill of the round. And one other thing I wanted to point out when this happens. So he gets killed, saw the AK, and he immediately falls off. So White Rabbit doesn't know that Nifty is in, is in the bedroom. Nifty didn't peek, didn't show himself. And so all White Rabbit knows is there was one guy in the halls, he Zeused him, and he fell off. That's all he knows. Now meanwhile, on the other side, 
I asked Uber to pull back in a crossfire this when I flipped over and saw where he was playing from that POV. And uh, as this is taking place, Nifty eventually is going to grab this AK, which is important to note because he ends up getting a kill with it at mid a little bit later in the round. But the reason I wanted Uber to play here is because if they don't clear out Skylar Relics in this corner, Relics should guarantee get one kill. And if he does, they're going to look at him, trade him, and then Uber will have a chance to get a trade in return. And that's exactly how it played out. So we're going to see this is an execute coming out that's going to smoke off CT, smoke off uh, spools. They threw a molly over the top. Relics is going to Zeus one. He gets traded. Uber's going to swing out, get another, grab a gun, and fall off. And then you're going to see Mitch YOLO through smoke and get killed and be a dirty, rotten liar. Jump through the fucking smoke. So I need everybody to tweet at Selfless Mitch and tell him he's a dirty, rotten liar because he clearly just yellowed through the smoke and then lied to his teammate about it. Now, after, after Uber got that kill and grabbed the gun, he's playing close oranges. So it's very loud that uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name. Derry Quo? I'll just call him D. That it's very loud that D has fallen back. He definitely heard him run away at Banana. We've got two players here. And so the call is to Nifty. I think he's coming back to you. I'm going to flip over to Nifty's POV, and he's in a smoke mid, he's going to play close on the smoke, and you'll actually hear the, the grenade, the flashbang getting pinned when D uh, sets up to throw it. There's a gap in that smoke. And that's the end of the round. So, a good job on our, on our team's part of, of playing passive, letting them come into us. They didn't really do, on the other side, they didn't really do a good job of like clearing out the angles, getting control of stuff. Um, the, our teammates got kills, traded, played it smart, peaked when they should have, traded frags when they needed to, played close enough that they could trade frags when they needed to. Um, good communication on the last guy running it back, and Mitch is a dirty, rotten liar. So that's, uh, that's a little bit of behind the scenes. It wasn't a troll and to be disrespectful. I actually thought, based on what we saw, that while it would be funny, we could actually win the round, which obviously we ended up doing. We ended up taking this map in the series. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes, because I, I think whenever you see somebody get Zeus, you think it's, it's entirely trolling. And there was a little bit more that went into that call uh, for this particular round. Now, this is the first YouTube video on our YouTube page. I would really, really appreciate it if you were to subscribe because I need to get a certain minimum of subscribers so that I can register the YouTube URL. We're going to be doing a lot of videos, a lot more like this, where it's behind the scenes of certain plays or certain matches. Um, and would really appreciate your support here on YouTube. Uh, and with that said, that's pretty much all I've got. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.